Isaiah YouTube Good morning, good morning You gotta finish the rest Good morning Listen, they got Drewski Man, they trying to give it to Drewski, man They trying to give it to Drewski on social media, man But to be honest, I don't see nothing wrong with what he did Let's get into it if it's your first time rocking with the boy, I'd be the K-I-N-G S-P-R double three. That'd be me, King Spree. Man, you locked in one of the realists, they tell me. I'm a realist, so I know the realist. I don't like that one. Anyway, reporting live from Sin City, Las Vegas, Nevada. The weather, they say it's 46 degrees outside, not a cloud in the sky, praise to the most high. And as always, baby, I need you to keep an eye out for that mixtape coming soon. I promise you gonna love it. Drewski, 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 my guy, I hate to have to be him. Now, so Drewski is not money. I don't, I don't know him at all, but I think he's funny. Uh, from the content I've seen, over the last couple years, especially like recently, I think he's a real funny dude. Um, and then being funny, I think he's talented, and I think you know he's a he's an actor slash comedian slash social media presence, and I think he's dope. Um, so he put out a video last night, a post and delete. The video essentially was depicting guys when they're around women and they're drinking. And, and how they, they're they trying to like almost Encourage the women to drink So that the women can become a little more loose A little more free And be more prone to make bad decisions right? And he depicted perfectly What most guys have done or do In regards to You get a little getty It might be two dudes, two girls, three girls Three dudes, whatever it might be And you know y'all vibing I don't smoke but maybe they smoke But you're drinking and you trying to encourage the girl to drink a little more and a little more and y'all play drinking games, never have I ever, um, truth to dare, you know, all those things that, uh, you know, young people do. And by young, I ain't talking about teenagers, I'm talking about all, all the way up to 30, 40 sometimes. So, clearly he was uh, almost like mocking the guys that either still do that or, or have done that. And we all have gone through it. We've all done some type of variation of that. Uh, before I continue, please go ahead and like the video. Like the video. Each and every like really does help the algorithm, helps the channel, and allows YouTube to know that you're rocking with the boy. I want to rock with you, baby. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know if y'all think he was out of bounds for, for his skit. Y'all agree or disagree in the comment section? Y'all think he was, he was wilding for the skit? Or you think that's exactly what happens? We got to call it how it is because that's exactly what happens. So, um, before we continue also, let me just say that when it comes to women, comes to guys, when it comes to, um, this would be an example of rape culture. Um, not rape, and I know that that, that that word is a very hard word. Matter of fact, let me not even say it no more, but I know that our word is a very hard word. Um, but this would be our word culture rated our culture so to speak where no you're not forcing yourself on a woman which you should never do each and every time a woman says no i don't care at what point it is she could have agreed she could have signed a letter of intent she could have did all that if she says no you need to stop whatever it is you're doing you should never pressure a woman into having relations with you or man whatever your thing is you should never pressure anybody into doing anything they don't want to do right um, they have the right to change their mind at any time. But in that situation, in which he was depicting, it was it's what people do. It, it definitely was what we've done. Coming up, the, coming up before the the R word culture, there wasn't a lot of like, there was no way to get canceled, so to speak. And guys would invite girls all over the time and, and have some drinks smoke a little bit for the ones that did other things they do other things get you in the mood get you with devices um and then from there you you know you, you do what you got to do and have a good time and a lot of times the girls are with it a lot of times the, the guys are with it 
Sometimes the girls were not with it and that's when you stop. And sometimes the guys are not with it and that's when the girls would stop, uh, at least in a perfect world. So, you know, with the whole Chris Brown and Trey Song allegations, let's not get it twisted. There are men that take advantage of women. We're not saying that this doesn't happen. This does happen. <laughs> what we're saying is that the ones that are being reported and the ones that get light are the women that are trying to do that are because the, the guys are famous and they're trying to get money. But women do get taken advantage of as, and they should not. It's a, one of the, it's a harsh truth, but it's the reality. Um, but also the reality is, is that, bro, if you would if you would have asked your mom and dad how they met, they wouldn't tell you the exact story. But if you tell, ask them how they got together for the first time or second time, you would find out that your dad... Your dad um, did a lot of things to get your mom's attention. That could be seen as pred predatory behavior. Your dad, um, um, the first, second or third date, got the wine together, got this, that, and the third, made sure the, 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 the apartment was very cold, got the sheets, got the, got you know, set it up so that they could have a good time, so they could be closer together. I, I don't think that's predatory behavior, but there's some people that look at that as predatory behavior. Um, and it's a real touchy subject, but as a man, we'll talk about from a man's perspective. If a woman says no, you stop, period, point blank. Ain't no, ain't no exceptions. But as a man, you still have to be a man and initiate the movement. That don't mean you touch her if she want to be touched. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying though is as a man, you still have to do certain things in order to progress a relationship. You can't rely on the women to do it because they're not, they're not brought up in such a way. So that might be the old ah, arm around the shoulder while watching movies, you know, to keep it real simple. And for other situations, that might be a little touching on the nag, which leads to kissing, which leads to, you know, various things. Once again, if they say no, or if they're so paralyzed by fear that they look like they want to say no, you stop. <laughs> you stop, no matter what. So you got to, as a man, you got to really survey the landscape and see, yo, does she look uncomfortable? Yo, is she, is she coherent? Yo, is she is she drunk to the point where you, like we not dealing with that, right? We gotta make sure that everything is everything and everything's okay. You damn near need to ask: Is this okay? Are you sure this is okay? And if they're intoxicated, to be honest, then they too they they're not um they're not coherent enough to even know what they're saying. Stop. Long story short, stop. Long story short, if you're in a situation that seems uncomfortable, stop. Don't do go, go any further. That's the honest truth nowadays, unfortunately. Um, and then of course, to protect women, we need to protect our queens at all times. We need to protect them. And sometimes, I mean, I hate to say this because I sound corny saying it, but there are sometimes women get in situations where they're so paralyzed by fear, judgment, feeling like they owe you something that they don't say no, even though they're very uncomfortable. You as a man got to know when to cut that off. Be like, all right, she's clearly not in her element. I'm clearly making her uncomfortable. I need to stop. But the thing that Drewski did with the video is just depicting how it used to go down. And how it still goes down. You invite a girl over. Y'all get drinks, man. You and your boy. You know, she got a friend. You know, you, you, you know, you hit her up. Boom. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Oh, we just chilling. What's, what's up? Oh, I'm here with my homeboy. Oh, how, how he look? Send a little picture through. Oh, okay. My friend said she with it. She with it. You, and you're like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, all right, so y'all gonna come through? You gotta throw the voice on. Yeah, y'all gonna come through? Yeah, I just dropped the Addy. All right. And y'all said y'all drink, right? Y'all got a couple drinks? Um, yeah, we, we like we like a little tequila. We like Ciroc. We like Hennessy. What y'all got? Yeah, we got all that over here. We just wanna stop by. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna be there by 8. And then by 8 o'clock, the girls come. And then from that point on, you'll see the video. That Drewski did. It's on the shade room right now. Um, look for the most recent video. Well, one of the recent videos. And that's how it kind of goes down. Now, once again, I need to reiterate. If at any time you look at these women and they look uncomfortable, you need to stop. At any point they say no, you need to stop. And don't just throw them out into the streets when they say no. Still treat them like a woman. You might not want to talk to them no more because, you know, you kind of only wanted one thing. Which is, you know, <laughs> dog behavior, but not predatory. But still treat them like a woman. Still show them a good night, at least for that night. And then let them move on. But um, what y'all thinking, man? Put in the comment section. Did Drewski go too far depicting how I really go down? The answer is no. But I want to see what y'all got to say. Maybe we have a difference of opinion. Um, and also, another question to be had is, 
are a lot of the things that we did back then considered our word culture are they considered predatory behavior things that we used to do that we was was no problem at all at that time now we look at man i promise you a lot of y'all wouldn't have been born if your dad didn't do certain things to get your mom's attention or to progress the relationship a little further that's a sad truth once again, I got to keep reiterating, I am not saying predatory behavior of any type is, a, is accepted or okay, because it is not. If she looks uncomfortable and she is so paralyzed by fear that she can't say nothing, it is your job as the man or the masculine energy to look, observe, and stop. If she says no, you need to stop. If she says anything other than I love this, yes, you can do this, you need to stop. That is the sad truth. But, you know, back in the day, it didn't always go that way. How many times is the dude really asking, can I do this? No, they put him in a situation, they try to progress, and if she doesn't say no, it's all good. And a lot of women that are in a situation with you like that are probably already accepting to what might happen, so they like you, and they want to take it to a physical level as well. But nevertheless, no matter what the signs say, if she looks uncomfortable, if she says no, if she bat her eyes twice in a row, stop. This has been the message brought to you by the good people over here at Spree ENT. And I promise you, baby, it's going to all make sense real soon.